So here we are, big stinky. Don't you hit my truck, mom. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. I'm actually just gonna head out with my mom. We're just gonna do a little shopping, stuff like that. She's just gonna look around for like paint stuff, materials and stuff. I think she's, I don't know. So I'm just gonna kind of vlog as I go, do my thing. I don't know what we're gonna do today. Just kind of, it's kind of, like I said, it's still in the transition stage between building the next trucks and finishing up the one under the hood, so it's just kind of like I'm just trying to get content as I go. I'm trying! One second! I'm in the car with my mother here, my beautiful mother. She doesn't like to be vlogged, but she had a, a thought about air fresheners. What were you saying about naming them? You gotta get air fresheners named after the truck. Name after the truck. So Specifically like, an air freshener called Big Stinky. Big Stinky air fresheners. Oh, which would be kind of funny. Kind but of they funny. wouldn't really be stinky. No, they wouldn't be stinky. They'd, they'd be like a new diesel truck smells, which yeah. you said. Some stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I think it'd be kind of cool. I can definitely look into it, and if it's something that I think is doable, that'd be kind of be kind of cool to do. Let me know if you guys think we should do them down in the comments. I'm thinking about buying a new car now. Before anybody freaks out, yes, brand new 2018 vehicle. I've been looking at some recently. I'm leaning towards a new Dodge Challenger. What do you think about this idea? I don't know. Mom doesn't, I, that's why I don't ask people what they think of my ideas. I just kind of like, that's what I want, have my mindset on it. I'm just gonna go with it. We're gonna pull into this lot over here and just kind of take a glance at these cars. There's the big old American flag hanging over the Chrysler lot. By the way, what do you guys think of those colored trucks? I don't know, they're kind of cool. I'm not sure about them yet. There they are, the cars. Oh my gosh, mom, what do you think about those? I'm gonna pull right There's here a so you power can. Power stroke. These ones are all brand new. There's the RTs, the Hemi. There's of course the SXT Pluses with the V6s in them. And there's some Hellcats up front. Just filming as I go. That's a sharp looking 1500. Would you drive a truck more? like that? Would you drive a truck like that? Yeah. You would? As long as they made like parking spots bigger. <laughs> Mom and her parking spots. That's why she likes the Impala. But you drove a, a you drove a big suburban and you drove an expedition for years. The suburban was huge. The suburban was awesome. That suburban I got used to it. Was the slickest car she ever drove. We got so many compliments from random people. So awesome. Look at that. See, when people say Dodgers rust, look at that brand new Chevy. Well not brand new, only a few years old, rusting out on the fenders. I don't want to hear any Dodge rusting crap. Our trucks are way cleaner and they're way older. Some guy said in the comments one time, he's like, no car, no car. There's a nice looking one too. That color. Sharp. It's a GT model though. That's nice. It's still really nice. Same with this one. This is probably a. Uh, well, this is a 5.7. Five seven. There's a Hellcat. I am very torn on what to do in terms of a car, which I'm not looking to buy something right now. Gotcha on the clickbait. It's just something I'm starting to consider more because I have had some people talking to me about on Snapchat and Instagram and you know whatever in the comments. Like trucks are awesome, don't get me wrong. I love trucks, I'm always gonna do truck stuff and that's gonna be my main focus most of the time. But you do want to expand your horizon a little bit and open up to more viewers and you know, just everything with having more options for people to view and to enjoy in terms of content. And also for me, as the creator, I wanna be able to enjoy more than just one type of vehicle. Yeah, I don't know, I kinda wanna get into a car like that, some kind of muscle car something cool but I don't know what my purpose is going to be for the vehicle so I have to determine what I'm going to use the vehicle for before I can determine which vehicle to look into more so for example you might look at all the challengers and if you don't know challengers you might be like oh well a challenger's a challenger it's like when you see challengers going down the road it doesn't matter if it's a v6 or v8 what do people think when they see it drive by oh look there's an expensive muscle car driving down the road but in reality you can get a brand new v6 challenger for like twenty eight thousand dollars with leather interior and everything it's loaded out but it's a v6 you want to go with a head me, you know what I mean? It's gonna be, you know, forty thousand dollars. You go with something, then you go to like up and up and up. It just keeps getting more expensive. You can be in a hundred thousand dollars if you want. Uh, we're just shy of that for the latest and greatest Challenger now. I mean, there's a sixty thousand dollar difference between the MSRP on the base one and their most premium. So it's just kind of like, what are you using it for? Are you using it to go to the drag strip? Are you just using it to go back and forth, you know, to visit the grandparents? There's okay. different types of vehicles for different types of things, and you're gonna pay for the different <laughs> premium. And the only thing is too, though, if I'm gonna buy my first brand new car 
which is probably what I would do. The nice thing is it's warrantied, of course, and now of course there's gonna be, well, oh, screw warranty. Well, you're not gonna be saying that if you were the person paying for the vehicle. Then it becomes a little bit different. Those are some things to weigh out if I'm gonna buy my first brand new car. It would be nice to have a three year warranty on your first vehicle, you know what I mean? Something like that versus, which is really tricky, you can buy a muscle car that's used three or four years just outside of warranty and you're like, okay, crap. Now, did the guy that drove drive this thing beat the tar out of it? Does it have some kind of issues? Like, is it gonna be leaking some kind of fluid here in a couple days? Like, what is, what, what's the history behind this car? How was it treated? And if something's gonna go wrong, you don't have a warranty. You're just out and you're on your own. Especially when you get into the more premium model cars. What do you guys like to do when they get a nice high horsepower car? Burnouts, donuts, tear the thing up. So. That's just what you gotta watch out versus if I buy a new car. I know it's been done to it, nothing. I know who's driven it, only me. You know what I mean? And so I know the history behind it and it's warrantied. And then what I do with it later on, gonna be up to surprise. I don't know what I'm gonna do with Gift it. Gift it to your mom. Yep, yeah, or that. <laughs> In the same sense, like I don't go to the strip. I don't go to, you know, drag strips and I don't street race and stuff like that. So I gotta know what I would do spending another $20,000 on a car. What am I gonna get out of it in terms of use? You know, is it practical for me or is it practical for somebody else that does race all the time and they're trying to show off to their buddies? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I am back in Big Stinky right now and we are actually headed over to our farm because I am getting rid of the PAP cap. Yes, the PAP cap is off the dually and I have no intentions of using it anymore. I'm actually surprised how many people were interested in that PAP cap. I've gotten so many messages over the last handful of days, really since I said whoever comes to get it can have it. Well, I just don't need it and I don't need any money for it. I'd rather just have somebody have it that wants it. There he is, coming to get his PAP cap. I can't tell that's a Cummins about. I thought I saw a big old fat diesel exhaust sticking out the tailpipe. There goes the pap cap. Well, man, when you see this video, hopefully you put it to good use and uh, get your use out of it because I was just gonna scrap it, so glad somebody got to use it. That guy's truck was actually a P-pumped 24 valve. I think he said he P-pumped it himself. Put a new head gasket on his 24 valve too, and then while they were at it, he said he just went ahead and he did injectors on it at the same time. And then he said he also did 110 pound valve springs from Diesel Auto Power. So the injectors and the valve springs, I think he said were both from Diesel Auto Power. Which, by the way, guys, if you guys are wanting any of that stuff, go down in the description below. And there's kind of like a bracket up towards the top that kind of goes to the sponsors that we have. The sponsors I use are only sponsors that I know I want to use on my trucks and I want parts to go on my truck. When I choose a sponsor, they usually have some of the best prices, very competitive. They have great service and they are great quality part. Just keep that in mind when your guys are are looking for parts for your trucks and then also we've got modification lists in the description below and they're for our trucks and you guys can go through and see what all has been done to our truck in case you guys want to follow a very similar build and mod list of everything should be broken down into which truck and which parts went into those trucks one of these days here soon we're gonna have to start up this first gen just to start it up and just to run it for the first time in a long long time this truck is so dusty we need to get it out i actually need to buy a buff a wax and buffing type of kit so i can get these trucks all done first thing at the beginning of the summer because this truck needs all cleaned up and done and nasty red needs it bad and my black truck needs it done bad and the dually needs it done but of course the dually is going to be stripped and repainted anyways but we got some more fan mail in which by the way p.o box information always in the description below you guys know i do not care what you send it it doesn't have to be anything super valuable as long as it's valuable to you it's going to be valuable to me dear loud and proud hello from south texas hope you're having a great day my name is billy and i've watched your videos since y'all first got the first gen watch your videos all the time i can't tell you how many times i've had a bad day and then watching your videos would make it better you've really changed my life man i just really want to say keep up the good work have a good one from Billy. It's a 99 F350 73 power stroke. That's what I'm talking about, baby. 73. 73 squad. This actually reminds me just like old Whitey. Like the, the headlights and everything. This is a 99 F350 power stroke. His Instagram is cottonmouth underscore 73. She's been in my family for 18 years since we got her from the Ford dealer in late 1999 with 92,000 miles on the tack. All highway miles has hauled horses, trucks, boats all over the state of Texas. Three years ago, my dad gave me the keys after for working off the money he wanted for it. I haven't done too much engine work yet. What I have done is headlights, taillights, cab lights, mirrors, straight pipe exhaust, light bars, radio speakers, and new headliner. I'm trying to sell her though. I'm sorry about my horrible handwriting. <laughs> Dude, it's not worse than mine, trust me. If anyone wants to buy, they can message me on there. If you guys are looking for a 7.3 Power Stroke out of Texas, go hit them up on Instagram. I'll leave it right on the screen right here.
2024 valve. This is my friend's 2024 valve. It has 900,000, wait, 900,000 or 400,000? So I don't know, it, one or the other, that's a big difference. That's 500,000, half a million miles difference. Instagram is right there. It says he loves watching your videos, same as me. Well, I appreciate that, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for the support and watching the content. I don't know if enough people hear me say that. I'm gonna try to throw together a meet and greet or two this summer. That would be absolutely awesome. Believe it or not, I think even locally to where I'm at, I think lots of people show up. There's so many people um, not too far from here. We got a letter. It says, hey Malachi, my name's Jacob. We've talked about painting your dually. If you have any more questions, feel free to message me on Instagram at Jacob underscore Charles 13. You can also check out my YouTube channel at the GM man. Hope you like it and keep up the good work. I plan on doing a Duramax swap into the 90s Chevy truck. Should be a cool build. Hashtag Team LMP. I absolutely love that. You guys always commenting that. Check out the shirt. This actually is like a really, really sweet shirt. This is a saying that I should be saying on my channel as well, man. Doing what I love, learning as I do. I get criticism all the time for, oh, you don't know what you're doing, you're not doing it the right way, or this and that and the other. It's like, I'm learning as I go. And all my channel is built not off of profession or me acting like I know everything and I'm the expert diesel mechanic on YouTube and that's how I brag about myself. Before I start projects, I tell you guys, I'm like, I'm not a diesel mechanic, I'm learning as I go. Just take notes, some of this might help you out, some of this might not help you out, but you're just learning as I go in the shop and as I go and move through stuff, you guys can go along with me and a lot of it is so you guys can help me out in the comments and help me out through Instagram and Facebook and you know, whatever. Super cool shirt. Thank you guys so much for the letters and the photos and the t-shirt. I like when you guys send stuff in like this, I wear this stuff. Like I literally, like I wear that stuff around. It's not like, oh, I just get in fan mail and I throw it in a box and I never, never touch it again. Like I use this stuff and I keep all these letters. All these letters that you guys send in, they do not come unnoticed and they don't get thrown away. These go and I save all of them. I want to be able to look back when I'm 15 and be like, all these people sent that stuff in to me because I somehow impacted their life. I cherish this kind of stuff. I don't know how many YouTubers actually like cherish this stuff and want to keep it to look back on, but I really do and it means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like I said, PO Box information always in the description below. Definitely go and check that out. Follow these guys on Instagram, follow them on YouTube. If you guys enjoyed that video, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, 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 o